just talk about the quality of player you have in, a, in Amanda Hyde and, and what she was going to do for this team this year. Well, you know, it, it, it's a little bittersweet right now because I knew last year how good she was going to be, and I knew she was only a junior. Now I know how good she is, and, and this is the last go around. So I'm trying to um, enjoy every minute of it. She is better now than she was in March. And I know she won all those awards, but she put in so much work in the off season. Her explosiveness, um, her leadership. Um, every time I turn around, she's in the gym or she's in the weight room. She's by far and away the hardest worker. So not only is she my best player, she's my hardest worker. And you add all those two pieces together and the sense of urgency because she knows it's her last year. Uh, I, I just think she's, she's in a position to have an even better year than she had last year. Of course, you guys have obviously got so much back from last year. Right. And, and uh, it's obviously been a, a building process for this year, the last couple of seasons. Mm -hmm. um, what, it, what do you think you guys will take into this year that you've learned from the last few years that are going to make you better this year? Well, what I just told the team there is a year ago, we walked down the floor not knowing what we had. We had four juniors and nine freshmen and sophomores, and I had no clue what we were going to do and who was going to be on the floor. Well, now I know. We walked right into practice, and we know who we have. We know what system we're going to run. And I feel like we just picked up where we left off. Now, we're not ready to play a game. But I don't feel like we're that far away from possibly being able to play the game because there's so much experience coming back. And to add to that, then, the expectations have gone straight up. You know, last year we were picked eighth. We didn't really know. We ended up coming in fourth. We feel pretty good about ourselves. Now, in my opinion, <clears throat> and in the player's opinion, fourth is not good enough. Now we're going out there to try to win this thing, and I think you saw a little bit of that, the competitiveness and the sense of urgency on the floor in the very first practice today. Um, how much did, did your conference your conference schedule? I mean, you guys were eight and eight in the conference. Right. Um, and like you said, ended up fourth when you were picked eighth. I mean, how much confidence does that give you guys going forward into this year? Well, I think it gives us a ton of confidence, uh, confidence because we know, we know what we can do. We know what we have to work on. Um, but, you know, the thing that sticks in our head is we finish eight and eight, and we gave up a buzzer beater to the conference champions conference champion in South Dakota State here. So that's easily, you know, possibly a 9-7, and seven and you would have knocked them off. Um, we were close. We were just missing some pieces last year. Uh, now we feel like we can compete. We feel like, I mean, IUPUI is going to be really good. You know, the, the rest of them, I don't know too much about Denver. They're new. South Dakota, North Dakota State, Western Illinois, they all do a great job. Um, but obviously the big dog is South Dakota State. When you win five in a row, I mean, that's our goal. So we talk about, they probably get tired of hearing me say it, but we literally talk about South Dakota State every day because that's the program we want right now. How much flexibility are you going to have so having such a deep team as far as rotations go and getting girls rest when they need them, I guess more so than you had in the past, correct? Yes, absolutely. You know, it's, it's a good and a bad thing. We as coaches talk about this every day. We sit here and think, okay, we've got 15 players. We can only play five at a time. We only lost one to graduation, so you got four starters coming back. Those four are going to play a lot. So, and basketball is tough to play any more than nine or ten to get any good rotation. So, there's going to be some players that are going to have to understand their role. And sometimes, if we've got a big lead, you know, maybe they're going to get a few more minutes. If it's a tight game, maybe they won't play as much. As long as they understand that it's always about us trying to win basketball games, um, but it's also nice to know that if, you know, heaven forbid somebody goes down, we do have some people that we can put in place, unlike last year where we had to just keep our fingers crossed and hope everybody stayed healthy.